Hey guys, Brian Benham here with Benham Brewing. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here, uh, we help home brewers out with tutorials, product reviews, and a live chat feature on our website to help you through your brew day 911s. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you find value to keep this wonderful content coming. Today we're talking about the Blickman Engineering Oxygen Flow Regulator. It's kind of a cool piece of equipment. Um, we've used it a number of times, so we'll let you know our thoughts. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so before we get started talking about this oxygen flow meter from Blickman Engineering, I want to touch on a couple of points with the oxygen. So oxygen is important for fermentation because the yeast use it initially during their growth phase when you first pitch them into your wort. Not having enough oxygen in your wort for the appropriate gravity uh, can lead to off flavors in your beer. Um, so it's important to have enough. Now, um, some manufacturers will recommend at least five parts per million of dissolved oxygen in your wort for um, a five and a half gallon batch. I think that's not quite enough. I would almost recommend eight to 10, generally speaking, just to make sure that um, you have enough oxygen dissolved in your beer. The uh, Blickman product that we're gonna review today can actually get you to 12 parts per million uh, or even higher if you have higher gravity beers. So it's a great product. The problem is it's very expensive. So the real question is, is it worth it? So we've used it a couple of times over the past couple of weeks. Stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll let you know if we like it. All right guys, so let's take a look at the Blickman Oxygen Flow Regulator. So it comes in a pretty good little box here. Pretty simple. There's our regulator, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, looks like they do include some directions in there from Blickman, uh, which of course we just throw out, we don't need those. Looking at the regulator itself, it is a heavy piece of metal. This thing feels really, really solid. You've got your regulator gauge here, which tells you how much of your oxygen you have left in your tank. Now what's interesting about this is this doesn't tell you what your flow is, this knob does. This is the adjustment that will tell you how many liters per minute you're putting into your beer. So there's half a liter. Um, what we do at Benham Brewing is we've got a one liter per minute uh, flow for about a minute and a half in a five gallon batch. Now that'll also vary depending on how many um, how many microns your aeration stone is. Um, this also, as mentioned before, has a pretty good thread on it to fit to a regular oxygen tank. And this is gonna be your outflow. You're gonna attach your tubing there that will go to your aeration stone, whether you do that in line or um, just sticking it directly into the fermenter. So it is a solid piece. Now the adjustments go from one liter per minute, how high up do these things go? Up to seven liters per minute. So if you're doing larger batches, 10 gallons, 15 gallons, you could increase the flow rate to cut down on the amount of time that you're doing uh, the actual aeration. Um, but for us, again, we do one, one liter per minute for about a minute and a half, and that's all we need. It is one solid piece of equipment. All right, guys, so this is one of the setups that you can use with the oxygen flow regulator. Uh, a couple things you need, obviously an oxygen tank. Um, you will have to invest in an actual oxygen tank, not a disposal one. This doesn't work with the disposal ones you can get from your local hardware store. Um, this is gonna set you back 90 to $100 initial investment. The refills after that are actually not, not too expensive and the tank like this will last you many years before you have to get it refilled. $45 for your oxygen flow regulator and then 30 to $35 for the miscellaneous hoses and a centered stone that you can use to inject the oxygen uh, into your wart. Um, the one that we have here is the Anvil uh, stainless steel centered stone. Um, the whole thing on the wand is stainless steel. Um, this was about $30, um, about $5 for hoses, $45, you know, $90 to $100 here. You're looking at $170 to $200, just initial investment, just to start to use the regulator itself. Another option that you can do that a lot of people have is instead of um, taking the wand and using it to stir in their fermenter, they will actually put the oxygenation stone in line with their, uh, with their beer. So as they're transferring their wort out and putting it in the fermenter, they're running the pure O2 out of the regulator. There's a centered stone in here and they're oxygenating as they go. So that's another option as well. Um, either way is effective at adding the oxygen. It's really important as you're oxygenating your wart to make sure there's some sort of movement of the wart past the oxygen. So if you're doing it in line, the beer is obviously going past the oxygen stone, the stentured stone, and that's fine. If you're doing it in like a carboy or a uh, fermenter, try to start if you can to maximize that contact area of the oxygen with your wart. 
All right, let's talk about some of the pros and cons with the Blickman oxygen flow regulator. Uh, first and foremost, before we dive into that, we do have to say that uh, Blickman did not send us this product for review. We purchased this with our own money. So our opinions are our own. So let's talk about the pros. So for us at Ben & Brewing, we like the oxygen flow regulator. It's something that we use in all of our brews and will continue to do going forward. Um, we like it because of the consistency. We can put the same amount of oxygen in our specific beers every single time, and that leads to consistency and flavor across the board. We found that our, our, our fermentations are faster and a little bit cleaner, uh, which is a huge benefit. We really, really like that. It really speeds up our brew days, too. Um, instead of 10, 15 minutes of rocking something back and forth or whipping it up or doing whatever to get that oxygen in there, um, it's a minute, minute and a half and we got our 12 parts per million in a five and a half gallon batch. If we're brewing 10 gallons, we do two minutes and it gets us to that 12 parts per million. Now, that's not to say that this is for everybody because not everybody's brewing processes will lend itself to this. Um, for some, it's an unneeded expense that they don't need for their beer because they're not gonna get much more out of it from a flavor standpoint. They're on point, their processes are good. It's one more tweak that's just not worth the extra expense uh, to do. Um, so it really depends on your brewing, um, your brewing processes and things. Again, for us, we love it. So we highly recommend it. All right, so final thoughts on the oxygen flow regulator from Blickman Engineering. Um, you know, weighing the pros and the cons and, and, you know, for us, honestly, we like it. Um, our fermentations seem to be faster, the beers seem to be cleaner, the yeast seem to be happier, um, and it's really not a whole big deal for us to haul around an extra oxygen tank and the regulators. The other thing that we really enjoy is the fact that it's much faster using the Pure O2. Instead of having to agitate for you know 10-15 minutes, which depending on your method can be either very tiring or just plain boring, um, you know a minute and a minute and a half with this on a five and a half gallon batch will get you to 12 parts per million and you're done. Um, so for us, we really like it. Is this for everybody? Frankly, no, it's not. Um, for our processes, for what we're doing, it works for us and we like it. But there are brewers out there that this really wouldn't be a benefit to them other than them having to haul around more equipment. Uh, and they really wouldn't see much of an improvement in beers because there's other things that you can tweak to get that better quality. So this is not for every brewer out there. So for us here at Ben & Brewing, like I said, we like the Blickman Oxygen Flow Regulator. We use it constantly. We recommend it to anybody that's looking for that last little tweak to kind of improve their beers, or if they're doing a lot of higher gravity beers, this will help clean up those uh, flavors that are coming in as well. If you feel like this content brought you some value, please hit that like button. We would appreciate a subscribe as well to keep this wonderful content coming. Thanks for joining us. Until next time.